Hi students, we continue with our lecture series on DNA repair and in this video we will be learning about double stranded brake repair. Now as I told you in the earlier video of double stranded brake repair, the main problem is there is no template for repair. In a single strand brake repair, the DNA polymerase actually finds the complementary strand as a template and it will synthesize a new DNA. Now is there actually no template? There is. There may not be any complementary strand in this DNA, but there is a sister chromosome. We already have a set of duplicate chromosomes lying in our machinery in our genome. So this homologous repair mechanism actually uses the sister chromatid as a template and then the repair mechanism will happen. Now I have already discussed the non-homologous end joining method of double standard brake repair. You can find that in the video description. Now before telling you before knowing how you should write the answer in your answer script and what diagram you should give let us visualize the process with the help of a 3d video so in double stranded brake repair mechanism you already need a damage of both the strands okay the lower strand is our focus of interest and there a break has happened due to some assault now the first thing will happen is mrn complex which actually consists of the following sub proteins that is mre RAD50, NBS1. It is after these three subunits that the mRN protein is named. Okay, so the mRN complex will come and bind to the ends. Alright, first end resection will happen, it will bind and then it will cut the 5 prime end. This is known as end processing and recognition. So 5 prime ends will be trimmed, 3 prime overhangs will be left behind. Alright, so you can see the 3 prime ends are a bit longer compared to the 5 prime ends. So after that happens, there will be influx of other components of this mRN complex. And ultimately what will happen, DNA polymerase delta or specifically you can remember DNA polymerase with the help of various mechanisms of this complex, you don't need to know the detail, actually grabs catches hold of the sister chromatid, takes it as a template and then synthesizes the complementary strand in order to fill the gap. Okay, now this is known as Holiday Junction. So what is Holiday Junction? Holiday Junction is an area where four double stranded DNA are intersecting. I'll be showing you with a figure very soon. Now once this Holiday Junction is formed, there may be two mechanism, alright? There can be crossing over mechanism in which the resolvasome, that is the protein that cleaves these junctions, actually cuts in two different ways. Number one, this way it, how it is cut and there will be a crossing over. So a parent, uh, that's a part of a sister chromatid will be now joining this, our damaged DNA and a part of a damaged DNA will be now joining the sister chromatid. Okay, so this is the crossing over mechanism and finally the gaps will be sealed by DNA ligase okay and this will be the end product very important and otherwise it can cut in two ways so when there is no crossing over the resolvasome will be cutting these two junctions so simply the upper one will remain at the top and the lower one will remain with the lower fragment so there will be no crossing over so these are the two mechanisms by which double standard brake repair can be managed. Now, if you need to write the answer, this is how you should write. Okay, you should give a flow diagram and give exactly what happens one after another. Believe me, if you write a big descriptive paragraph, you will get much less mark because examiner will have a headache to read your handwriting. But if you give you know, this flow diagram form, it will be very easier for you to score marks. So first double stranded break happens and then mRN complex comes and binds to the DNA on either side. After that various proteins will trim the 5 prime ends that will lead to production of a 3 prime overhang on the single stranded DNA. Then replication protein A, human RPA will come and cover the single stranded DNA and it will prevent its own winding so that the single strand doesn't coil okay and then rad 51 produces nucleoprotein on the single stranded dna then the most important step happens that is strand invasion in the identical duplex this duplex is nothing but the 
sister chromosome all right and then a d loop formation happens between the three prime overhang and the homologous chromosome now what is a d loop any structure okay which looks like this where a single chromosome single strand forms a loop with any other chromosome this is actually the d okay now it may not look like a d in 3d space but the concept is like this so you need to write d loop okay very important step d loop formation happens between the 3 prime overhang and the homologous chromosome which is actually extended by dna polymerase to form the holiday junction what is holiday junction it is as i told you four double stranded dna when they interact it will form a holiday junction this is actually holiday junction now it can look in any form okay the horizontally it may be compressed vertically it may be narrow but four double strand this is the key so it will look like x okay x men mutant so after this holiday junction happens there can be two outcome the as i showed in the video cross over which is actually known as the double stranded break repair pathway and there may be no crossover no crossover of the sister chromatid and the damaged dna that is known as a synthesis dependent strand annealing or sdsa so dsbr is double stranded break repair and sdsa is synthesis dependent strand annealing now this is the diagram that you need to give in your exam so you can follow this first there is a double stranded break this is a sister chromatid homologous chromosome will not touch it thereafter five prime trimming and three prime overhanging then formation of d loop and holiday junction and then there can be two outcome number one where there is no crossover it is known as sdsa or synthesis displacement strand annealing or synthesis dependent strand annealing or strand displacement annealing anything the term is all the terms are same but the most important that we need to know is double stranded break repair or dsbr in which depending on the amount or the place of cut the gain over here there may be no crossover or crossover now this diagram may look a bit of complex to you but trust me when you use two colors black and blue and you draw it four or five times it will be very easy for you to represent or reproduce this in your answer script so thanks a lot for watching this video there will be one last concluding video where i'll be discussing the translational dna synthesis and i'll be summing up the whole process of dna repair so feel free to get back to me in the comment section with all your queries and i'll see you soon with the next video till then bye and take care